Uh, I want to thank our chairman, Carolyn Maloney, particularly, and, and Peter King. From the very beginning, they've been steadfast. And I say to you, the angels are singing now. We all know it took some kicking and screaming to get this fund established in the first place. But we got it through because a lot of people were here over that before that period of time and gave us that support. The firefighters are always there. But the work isn't over. They need our help. And last year, the fund announced that due to a funding shortfall, injured and ill 9-11 responders and survivors will receive cuts to the awards that they were expecting. Big cuts, 50 percent, 70 percent for future claims. This is unacceptable. So the all clear sign after 9-11 from the federal government was premature. 30 more seconds. Madam Speaker, I now yield 30 additional seconds to the, to the gentleman. The gentleman from New Jersey has 30 Thank seconds. You. We have here today, and we're here today to state it will never be clear until we help every first responder who has suffered in running to the tragedy. We need to act now. Originally, this program was named after my constituent, New York Police Department Detective James Adrago. His service was exemplary. Our friends keep dying, Mr. Alvarez, Mr. Pfeiffer, Ground Zero. The gentleman's time Today, has expired. We show that citizens care. We represent the citizens. Thank this body for bringing.